Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving for grades 5 plus and ages 10 to 11. Problem 2. Two fifths of Zoe's money was $12 more than two thirds of Luke's money. When Zoe gave Luke $50, both of them had the same amount of money in the end. How much did Luke have at first? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Two-fifths of Zoe's money was $12 more than two-thirds of Luke's money. Let's represent Zoe's money by X and Luke's money by Y. We want two-fifths of Zoe's money. So, two-fifths of Zoe's money will be equal to two-fifths of X. In the same way, we want two-thirds of Luke's money. Two-thirds of Luke's money will be equal to two-thirds of y. Now we are given that this is $12 more than this. The other way to understand this is if Luke gets 12 more dollars, then his money will become equal to Zoe's. So we get 2x by 5 equals to 2y by 3 plus 12. Let's remember this as a conclusion of this statement. When Zoe gave Luke $50, both of them had the same amount of money in the end. Now we have a new situation. Zoe gives Luke $50. What this means is, Zoe's money, which was represented by X, gets reduced by 50. And Luke's money, which was represented by Y, gets increased by 50. But after this transfer, both of them had the same amount of money, which means x minus 50 and y plus 50 are equal. Let's remember this as a conclusion of the second statement. How much did Luke have at first? We have to find y. We have two equations and two unknown quantities, x and y. So here's our plan. Step one, we'll use one equation and find the value of one unknown in the terms of another. And step two, substitute the unknown found in step one in the other equation and find the value of the second variable. Starting with step one. Let's start with this equation because it's easier to find x in terms of y. And how do we do that? We can do it by transposing. We can transpose negative 50 to the other side. When we transpose, the sign will change to plus. So we get x equals to y plus 50 plus 50. Plus 50 and plus 50 will give us 100. So our equation will become x equals to y plus 100. We got our first unknown x 
in terms of y. Now we will move on to step two. Step two, substitute the unknown found in step one in equation two and find the value of the second variable. This means that we have to substitute the value of x in the other equation so that we can get the value of y. The second equation we have here is 2 by 5 x equals to 2 y by 3 plus 12. When we put y plus 100 in place of x, we'll get 2 by 5 y plus 100 equals to 2y by 3 plus 12. Let's solve this equation. 2 by 5 is getting multiplied by y plus 100. When we'll open the parentheses, we'll get 2 by 5y plus 2 by 5 times 100. 2 by 5 times 100 can be written as 200 over 5, or 40. Let's use it in our equation. Our equation now becomes 2 by 5y plus 40 equals to 2y by 3 plus 12. Now see, we only have one unknown quantity, y. Our goal is to find the value of y. For this, we'll have to bring the terms with y together. We can do this by transposing. Remember, when we transpose, the signs change. So we'll get this equation. 40 equals to 2 by 3y minus 2 by 5y plus 12. We now have to solve 2 by 3y minus 2 by 5y. But see, the denominators are not equal, so we'll have to make them equal. Let's multiply 2 by 3 by 5 over 5, and let's multiply 2 over 5 by 3 over 3. Now look, 2 times 5 equals to 10, and 3 times 5 equals to 15, and 2 times 3 equals to 6, and 5 times 3 equals to 15, now the denominators are same. So let's solve it. 10 minus 6 equals to 4, and the denominator stays the same. So the answer is 4 over 15y. Let's put it back in the main equation. 40 equals to 4 over 15y plus 12. Now let's transpose 12 to the other side. When we transpose, the signs change. And we'll get 40 minus 12 equals to 4 over 15y. Forty minus twelve equals to twenty-eight. Now we need to separate y. We can see that four by fifteen is in multiplication with y. When we'll transpose it to the other side, the sign will change into division. So we'll get twenty-eight divided by four over fifteen equals to y. When we divide a whole number by a fraction, we can do it by multiplication and reversing the fraction. So we have 28 times 15 over 4 equals to y. 28 divided by 4 equals to 7. So we'll get 7 times 15 equals to y. And 7 times 15 equals to 105. This means y equals to 105. And remember, Y was Luke's money at first. So, Luke's money at first was 105. Yay, we solved the problem! For more work problems, click the link in the description box below. 
I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.